sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, hi Aries. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. All right, let's see what's going on for Aries at this time. All right, what is happening for my Aries collective? Thank you for being here. All right, let's see Aries. Dietary change. Okay, so veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism. This could even just be moderation. Maybe I'll eat meat on Mondays. You know, mo Monday meats or meat Monday. I don't know. Um, but this is... So when this card comes out, it talks about you needing to look into your diet because this could even be a hindrance to how you are not hearing from spirit or how you're not tapped in or maybe there could be uh, an energy of gluttony or just overeating or overindulging because you're not wanting to deal with certain issue. Um, so diet, this could even be health. You know, universe going to tell you, look, you, you look, you we live in the spirit realm. You live in the physical world, so you got to take care of that physical body, so you need to change your eating habits. It happens to us all. Um, let's see what else is going on for you. Also, maybe just deciding to take in new things, new experience. This could even be indicative of just healthy changes altogether. Of course, in diet. But also just in life in general, like you're just not going to be around people who, um, you know, aren't healthy for you. Um, toxic things, toxic people. Um, you're not going to watch things on television that just aren't healthy to your mindset. Um, let's see. Finances could be uh, in question right now. They could either be going very well or it could just be slow or volunteer. Um, volunteer your services, volunteer, this could even be in, talking about like the volunteer state, Tennessee, if you're in the United States. Um, this could also talk about you need to sit with someone and volunteer how you feel or maybe even go into like a mentorship, apprenticeship type of um, a role here or position. You might need to ask for something or ask for help. Let's see what volunteer and you might need to give back. You might be in some relationship where you're going to have to ask for help. Relationship dynamics. Maybe there's somebody who could monetarily help you. What's going on for Aries here? Dietary change. What is dietary change? Now it could just be your diet. Or it could just be, it could have like some you know hidden messages here. Listen. All right, yeah, so getting in control. This sometimes talks about exercise, well-being with the chariot card. This could also be like this. For me, when I get this card, I see the treadmill. You know, you needing to run, needing to be active, aerobics, move the entire body, get the heart rate up, get the pace up here, um, get back in control. Something about maybe loss of control, overindulging, maybe due to some type of relationship or some business or the business of your life i don't know something could be happening with in terms in terms of your life you know things are changing and you just 
more than dealing with the situation because you need to volunteer and talk to somebody you might be choosing to overeat or just overindulge or just you know kind of find a positive you know you're finding an outlet i don't know if it's positive but you also you have found an outlet here what is this about you have justice card so knowing that you need to make a decision here with the justice card do something right or make it right or you need to go backwards or someone needs to make something right with you um Oh, so this might even be like a time period of just bad choices within your diet, within your health, and you need to make it right. You need to get back in balance. Maybe you, there was a period where you were like extremely imbalanced, like you were working out, you're eating right, blah, 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 this and that, and then you're kind of off kilter with the justice cards of going back to something to make it right. Listening to, mitigating like some circumstance that, you know, had you out of balance or off kilter something that was unjust or, or doing something unfair or somebody did something unjust or unfair to you okay and um instead of dealing with it maybe you took to whoa you took to eating you took to um let me just make sure the sound is still going I don't know, maybe you took to eating, overeating, indulging. You just didn't want to deal with the situation altogether. What are finances here? So it's been kind of an uphill battle, a lot of work, overworking, could travel for work. You want to do something else. Six of Pentacles, you don't know if you have enough money saved to do it, or you might need a benefactor, or you need some help. The world card, you left something or you you voluntarily left something here. The three of wands are waiting for um, either money or a response. The eight of pentacles, you've been putting something out there, page of wands over and over again, waiting for an opportunity or message that um, you've been chosen with the six of cups, the moon, and the ace of cups. You're keeping somebody in the dark about what's going on with you. In terms of your life, your housing, your emotions, these cycles that you've been going through. Again, you got somebody here who could help you. I don't know if you want to reach out to them or um, maybe you, you felt like you've leaned on them too much or you don't want to be a burden. What is volunteer? What is volunteer? The high priest is, yeah, it's like listen to your intuition. It's telling you to do something. Go to someone, get um, advice with the high priestess. It's talks about going to a wise woman, someone who's wise. Volunteer. Volunteer, what's going on with you? Open up. Seven of Swords could be a friend. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Could be a husband, boyfriend, Knight of Cups. You've got like cards of taking expired action. Inspired action. Like the universe is inspiring you to What are they inspiring you to do? What is the seven of swords? death card I don't know change your mind about some position that you took in regards to some relationship especially if children are involved or a young person the universe may be telling you that you need to go back to something or you need to make something right or you need to listen to your intuition creativity be open to create something new with somebody old a relationship that ended you might need to revise or revisit something what exactly is this saying 
need to revise or revisit something here with the volunteer. You need to quit hiding something with the Seven of Swords. I don't know how, to, how you feel because you're missing something. You're missing out on something. Or you're missing out on a particular person. By next week, I don't know, you might need to reach out to someone. Or they'll reach out to you. Yeah, money is holding you back. You need to tell this person your money issues because they can help you. The feminine, all right, so feminine needs to go to a masculine and understand that, oh, this person might be your earth angel. Is your earth angel. This this is just, I don't know, like you're, maybe you, you put your foot in your mouth at times. You got to do some fast thinking or you got to kind of double back. That bothers you or you're bothered by that. And now you have to be soft and kind. When you, Oh, you curse somebody out and then you got to go and ask them for help. Ooh, yeah, you were a live wire. But now you're seeing clear that somebody is your help. It could be mixed race or somebody's white or black or white and black. I don't know. Um. You might need to tell them that you're miserable without them or in this house, you feel safe with them. You don't want them to not be there for you, but they how can they be there for you if they don't know what's going on? Somebody needs to open their mouth and, and speak. What else has happened? Somebody's gotta go back. You know, the theatrics of ghosting and all of this stuff and playing games because of unhealed. Somebody being unhealed and feeling like they were maybe like not deserving of love, yeah. Somebody could be gay, lesbian, bisexual. They wanna reconcile. They could be texting you or maybe even sexting you by your birthday or next week. Sweet things. Um, they feel like African-American women, I don't know. They can dominate them. I don't know. What is the um, what are the messages? The closing messages for Aries. Let me know if this resonated for you. Diamante, so it's fake. It's like a diamond or jewelry um, decorated with fake crystals, fake stuff, suffer. So some of you are being, you know, not honest with people around you, people that love you or one particular person that you're suffering, you know? Something that's putting you in the ground, you're suffering without them. Like you're suffering in silence. When you got somebody that would help you, new moon, they would help you, they'd be open to helping you. They'll clean the slate with you or clear the slate. Blessings. This person is a blessing. You, you want them to come back into your life or you need to call them back into your life or this is what they need to do with you. Yeah, big payback. This person could pay you. Not even pay you, but they could like help you monetarily. They have finances coming up. Some of you are manifesting big money. You manifested big money uh, on the new moon. You're about to get that money. Somebody could want you back. You know, they're suffering without you. And they're in the dark. Out of the dark comes the light. When it's darkest, when it's darkest, it might be black or it could be like a, um, um, yeah, with the chariot card, somebody could be in the military, someone could be police, it could be a black or white, mixed race type of situation. Somebody is acting like they don't want to make up with you, but they really do. Could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, could be you. Like the makeup to break up. Someone feels like it's not the time to come back together. Apply. Maybe you're applying yourself or applying the jobs or maybe you need to apply pressure or someone's applying pressure. Queen of Swords here, you're putting yourself out there using the gift of gab, letting something go. Value. You know, I'm doing something valuable.
somebody wants to reconcile or somebody needs to reconcile, create something with somebody. The night of one, oh, somebody don't want to go back to this relationship because they feel differently about it with the relationship dynamics. But they're in need of something that this person has. They don't want this person to dominate them with all of these empty promises and they're not going to make any rule. I mean, like any moves. There is some big money coming to you, okay? You're in for a rude awakening and someone else is. This just reads that somebody wants to be the main, but they can't be the main. They're either the number two or they know that there's other options out there for their person. They're needing this money, this person right now or this money right now. But it's like pride, ego, putting your foot in your mouth. Somebody also doesn't want to go back to this person to ask them for help because it's like, okay, now what do I get? You know, it could be like a an arrangement because the page of wands can sometimes talk about the if then situation. Well, if I give you this money or if I help you, then what do I get? And then secondly, it also would talk about knowing that you're going to make up with this person, but nothing is going to change. Like you're still going to be the number two or the number three, or you're still, you know, um, keys on a ring with this type of person. And you don't want that. But you're also in need of something that they have. This might be a humbling. Oh, yeah, because I saw Pablo come out. Yeah. I don't know. The universe might be trying to humble you, humble this person. Somebody needs to humble themselves. Somebody's going to ask for something that they don't want to ask for from a particular person they don't want to ask for it from. Ooh, I just saw God. Yeah, God. Supreme being of all morality is trying to humble somebody. Somebody was too far up on that horse, on their high horse. But they're in need of something. Wow. They're stuck. Somebody needs help. Money just keeps coming out. Illegal business. Money. This could even be indicative of somebody holding back the fact that they need money. Somebody's money can get somebody in the black. And out of the red. This is what I have for you, um, Aries. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Who is asking who? Who needs who? Get down in the comments and let me know what's going on here. Um, also, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight, I will be live, and I will be answering questions for free tonight, live, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell button so you know when I go live. Um, thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. And if you want to get your own personal reading like this one, go over to the website. The website is linked below. And when you're at the website, go ahead and use code 40 off, 40 off to get 40% off your reading. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.